Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn about the top 10 Chrome extensions for QAs and testers, which will increase your productivity on a daily basis. So let's begin. As a tester, we are performing different tasks on the daily basis, like writing the test cases, reporting bugs. We have to test different things like text, links. There are a lot of stuff we have to test and we have to perform different tasks. So the first extension will be about the writing the test cases. So, but if I tell you, you just need to go to the application and you need to perform actions which will be converted into the test case, right? So let me show you this amazing extension and uh, what you need to do is that you need to go to the Chrome Web Store and here you need to search for test case studio and you will find this extension here. This is really helpful extension. And I've already added this one, but let me show you here. So this is one test case studio. Click on this one and here you will find this one, right? So you simply, you can add from here. I've already added this one. You can add from here and it has a lot of features here. So let me show you the tab here. So this is my test case studio here. If I click on this one, so you can start recording and you can perform some actions then you can export the test cases and you'll get different information while performing your steps so this is the first extension we talked about let me close this one now the second is again very really important extension as a QA as a tester you should know so let me go back here and here you need to search for testing daily right and this extension is really good because it is a single one place for all the testing related activities let me open uh, this one for you this is already added in my browser and here this is, this is a basically a testing feed so you will get all the testing news in terms of blogs in terms of youtube videos and it's a single place from where you get all the information uh, in terms of QA and testing happening around the world, right? So this is again really helpful. Just go and add in your browser. Now uh, let me go to the third one, and third one is basically a fake filler. So fake filler is basically uh, really helpful when you are testing some forms and you need to fill the forms and again and again and what happens is that you need to go and type each and every field right but with this particular extension you just need to click on this extension button from here and it will automatically populate the data on your form so let me show you example of this one so radif mail you must be aware of it let me go to this login page here and here let me go to the create new account and you see this is a form here and there are different fields and in order to test this one we need to fill the full name then we need to choose the id password the different fields we, we need to provide but by using this very good extension just click on this one and automatically it will fill the data for you and if you click keep clicking on this one it will change the data for you so this would really help you to test the forms really quickly okay and now let me go back here and show you the next very good extension for the qsl testers is basically a talent talent api that's right let me search for this one and once it will be appear here and I will show you and this extension is very good because you can test your APIs using this particular extension. So let me um, show you, let me open this one. So it will give you a similar sort of uh, interface just like a Postman and you can test your APIs within the browser. You don't need to install a separate tool just like a Postman. So let me show you here in my extensions. So this is the extension here. 
so it will open here and again you can provide the headers you can uh, you know provide the urls and hit the apis and test your apis you can even add an environment here so this is really good extension for the qs because you don't need to add or install some separate software in order to test the apis okay so next in my list is regarding check my links so in most of the cases what we need to do is that we need to check the links available on your website so this is a very good extension what it will do is that it will check all the links it will validate all the links present on the page so let me give you a very high level demo for this one so let me go to my testing from the website and here there are different links available so what i need to do is that i just need to click on this extension and it will check all my links so this is check my links so click on this one and you see it validated 210 links and it tells us that three are redirecting there are no warnings and there are no invalid links so this is how you can quickly check all the links present on that particular page so if i change the page and again i click on this one here on this particular page there are 139 links and all links are in the working state so this is really helpful when you need to validate the links present on your web applications right now next in my list of extensions for qas is basically with regards to reporting the bugs so it's basically bird eats bug in order to report the bugs directly within the browser you should use this particular extension this is really helpful again and let me show you this one here and simply you can record the current tab you can take a screenshot so this will help you to you know create the scenarios report the bugs this is really helpful and let me show you this one and this one here and simply click on this one so okay so let me go to this website let me show you here so here you can see you have different options we can take the screenshot we can add a descriptions and this is really helpful because you can simply highlight this area you can go here and you can say that this is the bug area and this is the bug so you can type the description here as well and here you can add a title this is a bug and add description right so this is a very very good extension in terms of you know uh, creating a bugs reporting the bugs you can also you know record the whole session and with the session you can capture the screenshot for your bugs here so next uh, in my list is a very good extension and again that is pretty much similar but it has some different options as well and this extension is basically awesome some screen screenshot and screen record and let me switch this one and let me show you again uh, this extension has some more features in order to if you want to record your tutorials if you want to report the buzz if you want to capture some videos in terms of uh, evidence as a bug then you should be using this one and again this is very very helpful extension for the qas so let me open this one and let me show you this one so provide stable service for more than 10 years very popular extension you can use the best screen recorder and capture tool to record the screen right so let me show you this one here so this is extension here you can capture you can record and you can also turn on your cam you can turn on the microphone right so in both cases you can use and you can or directly upload to the cloud right and these are different options where you can select between the visible part full page again this extension is really good in order to capture the screenshots or record the tutorials or in some cases where you need 
a video as a evidence for the work. So again, this is really helpful and this all is present inside your browser. Now let me take you to the my next very good extension here and that is very common you must be aware of it and this is basically a grammarly so on different websites as a qa as a tester what you need to do is that you need to go and check for the different spelling mistakes you need to check for the different grammatical mistakes so grammarly is basically a very good extension here and we we're already using most of the people are already using this one and this is the one and this is one of the very good extensions to use as a QA so because um, if you want to identify what are the mistakes in terms of the text here and if there's a long text just like I have a very long text on any of my blogs and I need to ensure that all the details present on this blog is correct in terms of the spellings in 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 context of the grammar and all the things so grammarly is definitely my choice here so it will really help you to identify when you are working on the different web applications then um on my list as a q testers we need to test on different screen sizes right so because we are living uh, in an era where we are working on the responsive websites and the responsive means that our application will adjust according to the screen layout and it should work on the different screen sizes right so for this one uh, i would recommend to go with the viewport re and this is a very good extension and here you can test your application on the different screen sizes right and this will really helpful and because it's again within the browser you can customize this one and there are some by default so you can add those as well so again this is very good you don't need to go for any tool outside the browser just install this extension and test the responsiveness of your web application and in the last but not the least the very good extension for the QAs is basically with regards to the cookies so edit this cookie is very good extension because using this extension as a tester as a q engineer what we need to do is that we need to test the cookies right we might need to edit the cookies and see what is happening we might need to delete the cookies we might need to add the cookies right we might need to search for the cookies present on our application and again this all can be done using this very good extension added this cookie and um, you know there are so many extensions but i found these extensions very useful when you are working as a manual QA or the test engineer because these extensions will help you in your daily activities like reporting the bugs writing test cases uh, testing the application rapidly, checking the links, reporting the bugs, checking the spellings, checking your website on different screen sizes, checking the cookies of your application, all through these Chrome extensions. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you like our content, then do like, comment, share, and subscribe our channel. Once again, thank you so much, and see you in the next tutorial.